Hello. 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 Okay, hi everybody. Um, let me get this lecture started here. Right, actually, excuse me. Le lecture is tomorrow, so there's a lecture tomorrow, um, five o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, United States. So U.S. Eastern, five o'clock that Saturday tomorrow. Uh, my name is Lee Solden. Um, this guy's been studying and teaching languages my whole life. And uh, back starting December 15th, 2018, I started discovering a different way to learn languages. And by Mar end of March, 2019, I was pretty much had a system put together. I, I stumbled upon a couple more things along the way uh, during that time period. And uh, I started switching anybody I was teaching to that, this new method. And I started advertising it, telling people, hey, I'll teach you these languages, you know. And I've taught hundreds of people languages or at least got them started. They're using a lot of parts of my system. And uh, so the lecture tomorrow will be about my system, which I call accelerated immersion. Um, but today I'm going to give you the story behind how this happened. Now, uh, on December 15th of 2018, I found myself studying Russian, Hindi, and Mandarin, primarily. But I was also getting brief lessons to myself in uh, Greek, Korean, mainstream Arabic, and Brazilian Portuguese. Prior to this time, for the previous few years, the languages I've been studying were German, lifetime for that. Spanish, again, lifetime. French, several years. Uh, Dutch and Italian, I'd been studying that year um, previously, but I, I just continued to study those five languages by, by, the, uh, by December 15th of 2018. And one week, I studied Hindi all week, but I learned a couple hundred words of Greek inadvertently, uh, by accident, I say. Um, I had finished looking up the words on a, a video for Greek. It's just a common phrases for tourist type thing, but it's also designed for any beginning Greek student. Um, so I'd looked up the words, didn't study them, but uh, I needed something in Greek for my ear. So I started playing this uh, audiobook or, or common phrase video. And I played it all week, ignored it. At the end of the week of ignoring that video, I knew the Greek, a couple hundred words worth. The, the, each Greek sentence was introduced by the English sentence. So my mind was picking that up apparently. And uh, well, I'm an experimenter, I, you know, have an engineering background type. So I said, well, this freak accent or what? So I, this time I took one week, looked up all the words and all the Greek words in another half hour video for Greek. And sure enough, one week after that, I knew all those words just by passive listening to it. And I went on, I was, I think, I, uh, learning uh, Russian that particular week. Anyway, so, and well, once once I realized what was going on, Told, and I was sure that this was really real. <laughs> I switched all of my uh, studying to lightly looking at stuff and then just play it passively. And I did that for months up, up until uh, March 1st, actually. So about three, three and a half months, uh, really three months of just doing that. Okay. 
I learned like 400 Hindi phrases during that time, 130 Mandarin phrases, and like 40 each of another uh, bunch of languages. And because I was listening to these common phrase videos all the time, and because I had three of the languages being introduced by Portuguese, Portuguese to Arabic, Portuguese to Korean, and Portuguese to Russian, I was hearing Portuguese much of the day. On March 1st, my language partner came back from a long trip, and I pronounced all the uh, common phrases for him, 40 of them. He said my pronunciation was perfect. Slight American accent. Well, I couldn't say any of them very well but when he left. And I hadn't practiced because he hadn't been around. But yet, something happened. I realized my ear had tuned in to the Portuguese. It had to the Brazil Brazilian Portuguese. How else could I be speaking it just right? Well, so the, uh, now my, my ear had tuned in very well to common phrases uh, during that time, except for Russian, Korean, and Arabic. They still sound kind of like a bzz, bzz, bzz to me a little bit. So, but I repeated the experiment. I started listening to a whole lot of Russian, same as I'd been listening to a whole lot of Portuguese. Sure enough, combination of listening to a whole lot of uh, Portuguese combined with doing what I call read throughs, I'm, I'm reading the Portuguese. I'm then closing my eyes, just listening to it, and going back and forth, doing doing hours of that per day for Portuguese and all kinds of passive listening. Within a few days, bam, my, my, my ear was tuned to Portuguese, and I'd already started on the next language, Arabic. A couple of days later, I was tuned into Arabic at the common phrase level, mind you. A couple of days later, Basically, March 10th, to be exact, my ear tuned in to Korean. I was listening to it passively, and all of a sudden it went from, D -d 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 -d. hey, how are you? Now? Really clear. I mean, I didn't know, didn't understand the Korean necessarily exactly what they're saying, depending on whether I knew that phrase or not. But doesn't matter. I, 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 I heard the Korean as distinct words, not some kind of mumble jumble buzz. Okay. Okay. At that point, my ears tuned into 12 languages at the common phrase level. Two days later, a friend of mine, language partner for Spanish, which I had to study for a year at that point, sent me a audio book in Spanish. It was the Alcoholics Anonymous thing. Anyway, I wasn't interested in looking at it. I wasn't really studying Spanish. I wasn't doing any full speed stuff. Um, I've been, you know, years of watching Netflix it never got me anywhere. And I was getting somewhere with all these common, these common phrases. Well, but a friend had sent it. So I started listening to the audiobook in Spanish and I treated it like I would treat common phrase video. Looked up a handful of words I didn't know um, and even looked up some that I wasn't sure about to make sure I understood exactly what that half hour of Spanish meant. And I would listen to it while reading, and then I would just listen to it with my eyes closed. I did that for hours a day. And on top of that, I listened to it for several more hours, passive listening-wise. Now, when I first started listening to it, I couldn't hear it very well. I mean, just could not pick, couldn't tell you what the guy was saying exactly. Um, but after this, at the end of the second day, Actually, as I was turning my computer off, a couple of sentences came in loud and clear to me. I understood it perfectly. And the next day, I turned the computer back on, turned the Spanish back on. Sure enough, I understand that half hour of Spanish perfectly by ear without reading it, just listening to it. And this is the first time in my life I've been able to listen to an audio book or a TV program in a foreign language and understand what they're saying. Okay. So this is a pretty big deal for me. Well, again, I'm an experimenter. Hey, <laughs> by March 28th, I was tuned in at full speed speech to all 12 languages that I'm interested in. Well, the last one being Russian, and I didn't have to do any ear tuning to that. Um, 
because I was tuned into many contributing languages for Russian. And I just started listening to it, and 15 minutes later, it kind of just clicked in, and I could hear it as regular words. It wasn't real good. Later on, I had to do a lot more ear tuning for Russian. But I had a good start anyway. Um, so just looking through my notes here. Yeah, Hindi. Okay. The first six languages I, I, I tuned into were ones I could read. Spanish, uh, German, that I'd, I'd read for, you know, for years, then Dutch, Italian, and Portuguese, which are off of those first two. And, uh, and then French. I'd studied French for several years. I could read, read French pretty well. So I tuned into all those. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to learn how to read Hindi, and then I'll tune my ear into that. But I had an insight the very next day, and I called my my uh, Hindi language partner. He wrote, he dictated to me uh, in syllables that I could read the Hindi that was in an audiobook. Now, I did not know what the guy's saying, but I had the syllables in front of me, syllable by syllable, what this guy is saying on the audiobook. So I'm following the syllables and, and listening to the audiobook. Just like I was doing with the Spanish. Spanish, I'm reading the Spanish words, but that's very phonetic. So I'm paralleling for Hindi what I'd done for Spanish and the other languages that I could read well. Well, it worked. Now, Hindi's kind of complex. It took nine days, longer than anything, anything else. The French took four days. Hindi took nine days, but it tuned in. All of a sudden, that blah, 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 blah became, hi, how are you? <laughs> okay. Still can understand what they're saying exactly, but they were words. Now someone can teach me the words, and I know that then I can understand the Hindi sentence when I hear it. Okay, so that pretty much that is in a nutshell my whole system. I start out with teaching a person how to hear a language first, and once they can hear it pretty darn well, then I start telling them what the words mean. And I tell them, don't study. Go back to that discovery from December 15th, 2018. You don't have to study. You just have to be lightly introduced and then do a lot of passive listening and that will cement in the cement in the knowledge. So you so starts out with ear tuning and a person doesn't stop ear tuning altogether. They start out with a lot, they go down to a little, but they keep doing some because they want to get a native ear eventually, right? So we keep doing the ear tuning. Always do the passive listening, not only for the ear tuning, but it's also how you pick up the language. Because that by having that language surrounding you, plus doing what I call read through, is where you're associating definitions to what you're hearing in the language, that gives your speech center enough input to figure it all out for you. And you just wake up every day knowing more and more of the language. You never study. Um, it's the same way any kid learns a language. And I'll give you my spiel on the supercomputer that everyone's born with called the speech center. What, what I'm really doing for anyone I'm teaching a language is telling them how to use their speech center, how to use the supercomputer for languages that they were born with, which only gets stronger and stronger with age. Well, first input, you got to take the surrounding noise and turn it into syllables. That's a combination of being surrounded by the language and getting repeated phrases. You, your mom says, hey, take your bottle, here's your bottle, here's your bottle, here's your bottle, here's your bottle. Well, you hear it over and over and over again. All my ear tuning is, my ear, ear tuning exercises, while the person's being surrounded by the language, I have them listen carefully to the same 30 seconds of speech 120 times a day, half time with their eyes shut half the time while reading the ear tuning syllables. This works very, very rapidly. Within a couple of days, people can hear uh, most languages. Like I say, French is four days, Hindi's nine days. Mandarin's a little different. You gotta start out with a lot of ear tuning directly to the tones before you even get into the content of the syllables. So it takes longer than any of them because of that initial step of, of of tuning into the Mandarin tones first. Um, okay, I'm gonna 
I'm just checking my notes, make sure I, I covered all those quick topics. So my, my lecture tomorrow, again, uh, the lecture tomorrow is 5 p.m. U.S. Eastern time. And that's that's Saturday tomorrow. Um, I'm going to cover not my history, but I'm going to go over briefly my system, how the system goes. But that'll be kind of brief. I'm going to zero in on the first step, which is passive listening. And I'll get kind of extensive into passive listening and how you maximize that passive listening. Um, you guys uh, all enjoy your day, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.